Today we will be doing an oil change on this beautiful 2020 4C. So let's get started. First things first, of course, engines in the back. Go ahead and take off the oil cap. Now the lift points for the 4C, if you're put, putting this on a rack, are gonna look like this here. Um, but where I put the actual rack on, uh, you can see it for the front and then on both, that's on both sides. And then on the rear, you're gonna wanna put it on this plastic, looks like piece there on both sides. Once you got it there and the vehicle secure, you can go ahead and start doing the oil change by removing this cover. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bolts. Just to clarify, that cover that we just took off, all the 14 bolts were T30s. So um, keep that in mind. Next, we're gonna take off the 13 millimeter drain plug and the oil filter is right up there, just above the passenger side axle. So we'll drain the oil while the oil is draining, we'll go ahead and remove the filter. All right, so we got the oil draining and the filter draining up there. Keep in mind that when you do take the filter loose, when you break it loose, oil is gonna drain all over the front of this axle and all down the side of the engine block there and the oil pan, I should say. Not the engine block, the oil pan. And you're also gonna make a mess here. So when you're doing this, make sure you have plenty of rags and uh, some degreaser, cause it is gonna get messy. So we'll change the filter, plug this thing back up. Uh, the drain plug does have, I don't know if you can see it or not, does have this gasket um, you can choose to replace this if you like but um, it is not necessary so we're gonna go ahead and reuse this and after we reuse it we're gonna torque the drain plug to my favorite 25 foot-pounds because that for me is a general rule for any drain plug on an aluminum pan and then we'll uh, button this up all right, we got the new oil filter in, cleaned up the oil pan best we could, as well as the axle. We uh, went ahead and uh, put the drain plug back in, and torqued it, kind of wipe off a little residue there before we uh, put the cover back on, but uh, time to put the cover on and get oil down in this thing. We went ahead and secured all 14 of those T30 bolts. Now it's time to bring the car down. All right, so we're gonna fill this thing up with six quarts of 5W40 full synthetic oil. Um, today we're using Penn's oil and it's gotta be full synthetic, don't forget that. So six quarts, 5W40 full synthetic. All right, so we got the engine running after we fill it up with six quarts of 5W40 synthetic oil. Um, we're gonna let it run for about another 30 seconds and then recheck the oil level and then Obviously we want to make sure there's no leaks, which there isn't, so we're good. Let's check the fluid levels and get this puppy out of here. All right, so those of you that are wondering where the washer fluid reservoir is, I took the liberty of already removing this cover, but this is on the passenger side. You can see it's right there. Uh, so what you gotta do is you gotta take that grill off and there's four of these bolts. And this is one of the gaskets that goes to the bolt on the other side. Once you pop it through the grill, it kind of holds it in place, but that's where it lives. Those of you wondering where the brake fluid reservoir is at, lives behind this cover here. Same principle as the uh, windshield washer fluid. Go ahead and remove these two Phillips head bolts and then pull this cover off and you'll see the fluid uh, cap behind there, but chances are you're probably not gonna be able to see much. Uh, we're not checking on it today just because this customer is only doing an oil change and it only has 5,000 miles. So um, we're gonna go ahead and reset the light. 
All right, so here we have my Altel scanner. I'm gonna go ahead and reset the service light. So we're gonna go to hot functions, oil reset, and just basically follow the procedures. Pretty simple, straightforward. Can't really mess it up. Uh, so we're gonna go to oil change. Basically telling the engine computer that we are replacing the oil turn the key off. He is turned off and we are now waiting for this uh, power latch here to finish. Once it's finished I'll show you what we're doing next. Key is on. We're gonna go ahead and hit OK. And we're gonna hit continue. And it is successfully completed. Sorry if my camera's not focusing at the moment. Um, now we're gonna go to the next one, which is reset service information, the IPC, um, which is going to eliminate the light on the dash. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. And it's been reset. So that's pretty much it for resetting the service light. So to conclude the service, I'm gonna go ahead and check the tire pressure. I get a lot of people that ask me, hey, how much pressure do I set in my tires? Well, pretty much for any car, that label is gonna be right here on the driver's side door jam. It not only tells you your tire pressure for the front and rear, it also gives you the tire sizes. So if you're ever questioning what size your tires are or your tire pressure, it's right here on the inside door jam. Don't forget that. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content that will be coming out soon. This concludes the video for the 4C oil change. If you have any questions and or comments, please feel free to leave them down below and we'll see you next time.